All eyes are in fact on Donald Trump and whether he will concede the election and allow for a smooth transition of power should he lose. Let's give you a look back now at three important concession speeches from recent American history. First, George H.W. Bush, the last incumbent to be defeated when he lost to Bill Clinton in 1992. And his speech specifically mentioned transition. We respect the majesty of the democratic system. I just called uh, Governor Clinton over in Little Rock and offered my congratulations. He did run a strong campaign. I wish him well in the White House. And uh, I want the country to know that our entire administration will work closely with his team to ensure the smooth transition of power. There is important work to be done and America must always come first. So we will get behind this new president and wish him, wish him well. George Bush there. Well, in 2008, Senator John McCain lost to Barack Obama. Mr McCain stopped his crowd booing the new president-elect and offered his support going forward. I had the honor of calling Senator Barack Obama to congratulate him. Please. To congratulate him on being elected the next president of the country that we both love. Senator Obama and I have had and argued our differences, and he has prevailed. No doubt many of those differences remain. These are difficult times for our country. And I pledge to him tonight to do all in my power to help him lead us through the many challenges we face. John McCain there, and even more recently, in 2016, after losing to Donald Trump, Hillary Rodham Clinton told supporters they should cherish the peaceful transition of power. I still believe in America, and I always will. And if you do, then we must accept this result and then look to the future. Donald Trump is going to be our president. We owe him an open mind and the chance to lead. Our constitutional democracy enshrines the peaceful transfer of power. And we don't just respect that, we cherish it.